New tonight, brand new initiatives to get mental health support to people in St. Louis as soon as they need it. It includes not only a support app for middle school students, but also a brick and mortar location downtown where anyone can show up in a crisis. Five on your side's Brent Solomon is live now to explain. Brent. Well, Mike Kelly, you might remember a couple of years ago, Missouri launched the 988 crisis hotline. Right now, anyone can call it 24 seven when you need mental health support. Well, now a local group says it's time to turn things up a notch. When you need help, you need help. Mental health experts say they're trained for this. So if folks are having any kind of a crisis after hours, instead of having to go to the hospital system or getting arrested or having any other issues, they can come and drop in at the center and receive treatment immediately. Tiffany Lacey Clark, the CEO of Behavioral Health Response, is referring to a new space opening up here on Washington Avenue. It will be open 24 seven. There'll be recliners, some space for people to change, take a shower, get clean clothes, some snacks to go and be able to sit down and talk to somebody. It's part of several efforts the group just announced to get mental help to more people, including children. They're rolling out a new app where experts can see if something is wrong when young people are at school or at home. And if there is something that's triggered, we will respond at BHR. Right in the app, they can get text messaging, tell them how to control their breathing, telling them to just think about some things and giving them basic uh, uh, skills that can get them past that moment. If it's a little bit more intense, we can give them video counseling. If things escalate, experts will show up around the clock. Behavioral health is also developing after school programs at Card Lane CVPA Middle and at Gateway Middle. The difference with our program is we'll have clinicians there. So kids can have fun, they can learn, uh, but they can also get some treatment. Some innovative ways to reach the needs of the community. As the needs shift, the agency has to shift and how we deliver services have to shift. And right now the agency is in talk with school districts and with families who might be interested in that app. By the way, the new crisis center expected to open early next year. We're live downtown, Brent Solomon, five on your side.